Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about 12 rules that real men need to know if they are interested in dating other men that identify as being a woman, otherwise known as transgender women. Well, that, that's what they want to be known as. They've got to put trans in front of woman and then they claim that they're a real woman, which is rather interesting to me. Why do you need to put trans? Why do you need to put anything in front of woman? Just say woman. But anyway, you gotta you gotta say that now because you don't want to get the shock of your life. If you uh happen to be somehow on a date with a person, they reveal to you, hey, guess what? I I'm a male. And I'm transitioning to being a female. What does that even mean exactly? Someone please explain in the comments what that truly does mean. And I know that there are people out there that will have surgery. They will, uh, you know, try and make themselves appear like a woman. But let me just be very clear. There's a lot more to being a woman rather than just making yourself look like one or trying to look like one. It. I'm not a woman, so I won't start mansplaining or I won't start talking about what it actually means to be a woman because I don't know, never been one, never will be one. And I won't even start to identify as being one either. But I know for a fact that women will say that there is more to being a woman than just looking like one or trying to look like one. So men, if you are interested in somehow wanting to date a transgender individual that claims that they are a woman, right? Let's just say that. Then uh, you need to know these 12 rules because God forbid that you don't know these 12 rules. It's kind of like a massive riff on Dr. Jordan Peterson's 12 rules for life. But instead, this is 12 rules for dating uh, transgender women. Okay, so this was created all the way back in October 27th, 2023. So I sort of missed the boat on this one, but I think that was a time when I was having a little bit of a break and thank God for that. So this is from GQ, people, just in case you were wondering uh, where this article is from, which, as you know, GQ is extremely left-leaning, woke, and insane in many cases. So this one, you <laughs> already automatically know that it's what to expect going to be crazy. So I'm all for that. Let's dive into it, shall we? 12 rules for the term that I absolutely hate, men interested in dating trans women. Dating a doll isn't really so different from going steady with any other girl, but there is still some things you should know. What the heck? Dating a doll. Okay. So they're, they're trying to equate the likes of a man dating another man that looks like or tries to act like a woman as a doll. Okay, that's fairly interesting. As Western civilization creeps towards actual civilization, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck are you even talking about, mate? As Western civilization creeps towards actual civilization, that that little bit makes absolutely no sense. What are you what are you even saying? Transgender women are living and dating more freely than ever before. So Western civilization has creeps towards actual civilization. I don't understand that. I, I don't understand that at all. Western civilization creeping towards actual civilization. Anyway, before I have a blow a casket or my brain just melts from trying to figure that sentence out, let's continue moving on. We're very likely to meet a dull on a typical night out, if you live in a major city, well, first and foremost, I don't go out, so I'm less likely to meet anyone at all, especially the likes of people that want to identify as being women. The same way you would any other girl. Now, if you are a man and you do happen to go out and experience life in actual civilization and not Western civilization, which is just civilization in general, but alas, there we go. So if you're a man, you happen to go out in the town and you end up end up in a club somewhere and you're having a good old time, you're raving it out, you know, you're enjoying yourself. And you happen to spot across the distance a doll. You don't know it's a doll, but you just go, oh, maybe, maybe that person looks quite attractive from the outside. So I'm going to go up to them and start talking to them. Let's, let's do that, shall we? And then all of a sudden, bam, you are a straight white male or you're a straight male, 
and you get hit with the ever so intense knowledge that guess what? The person you're talking to happens to be another man. What do you do in that case? Do you run for the hills? That's what I would do. <laughs> That's what I would do. Uh, so you never know if you're out in the town these days, apparently, according to this article, what you're going to see or experience. But get ready, people, because they're coming for you. If that's exciting to you, this doesn't have to be the thing Craigslist personal ads RIP and quickly deleted Pornhub search histories. It's kind of normal. Let me tell you this, mate, the guy that wrote this article, it ain't normal to look up that sort of stuff. And I'm wholeheartedly against porn. Just saying. There's another tangent for another time. But anyway, still, the rules for dating a trans girl, trans girl, not trans woman. There you have it, people, with another issue with this article are a little more complicated. Um, yeah, they're extremely complicated. If you ask me then for your average relationship, if you're dating or want to date a trans girl or a trans woman, you're gay. It, they're trying to make it seem very complicated, but it's, it, it yes, it is very complicated, but, when you boil it down, it ain't that complicated. Sure, we probably all want to be courted and taken out. Some may want to go Dutch. This is a very fun article, but not but not for me. Oh, clearly not. Not on a first date. But there are other factors at play. In the same way you try to learn the intricacies of someone's culture that is not your own, you want to be respectful of an unfamiliar gender identity. Okay. Luckily for you, yes, I've, I'm feeling very lucky at the moment. Thank you. I've combed through my contacts. I communicated with old suitors, ex-boyfriends, my guy friends. So this person happens to be gay, believe it or not. And some other trans women to compile a list of tips for dating a doll, otherwise known as another dude. While the trans experience is not a monolith, using fancy words, okay, and no two women are exactly alike. So you're saying no two men are exactly alike? Yes. Most people I spoke with agree that these tips were foundational for a relationship with a lady of transgender experience. <laughs> ah, I love that sentence. I love it. Most people I spoke with agree that these tips were foundational for a relationship with a lady of transgender experience, with a lady of the night, people, that happens to be a dude. So let's get into these, shall we? Number one, don't start none, won't be none. Man, this article, just it's really starting to hurt my brain. Don't lead a woman on in any relationship. Okay, I agree with that. I spoke about it yesterday. But you need to be extra sure about your intentions with trans girls. <laughs> yes, because God forbid that we upset a biological dude that is identifying as being a woman. It's extra bad to lead on a transgender individual, people. It's not bad enough that you lead on a woman, a real woman, but it's worse if you lead on a transgender individual. Somehow. I have no idea how, but anyway, many of us have had the experience of dating men. No, never have, never will. Thank you very much. That want to hide us or gotten ghosted because a man just can't deal with his own struggles about opening openly dating a trans woman. It's best to make your intentions known. Look, that's just general. That's just generally great dating advice. Like if you're interested in someone, make your intentions very clear from the very beginning. What you want to do. Like communication is very important, but evidently you need to make it extra important and extra evident for a transgender individual. So Ah, oh, mate, these people are like just the extra, extra work, people. Just so you know, <laughs> they're double the work. <laughs> if you're looking for something casual, say it. But be prepared that if you say it's casual, they're not going to want that. 
So therefore, you're not actually dating. This is not a rule for dating per se. This is a rule to know if you want just a fling or whatever else anyway. But if you're not ready to be open about your relationship, then you probably shouldn't even start to pursue a doll. Why do they call them dolls? Maybe because they're fake? Yes, that's a good that's a good way of putting it. Two, your fetish is not a green light. Just because you watch trans videos on Pornhub, no, nope, I don't. Just saying. And a lot of people don't either. But maybe if you are watching that, get help. Just saying. Does not mean you should date transgender women. <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> It was the fourth most searched category in 2022, after all, which is rather concerning, if you ask me. Every doll has a story about a chaser looking to experiment. Yeah, basically, no, not basically. You are having sex with a dude. You're gay if you do that. Number three, be ready for the fact that others may not understand your relationship. Get ready, people. They may not understand it, but you do because you're blind. It's similar to other queer relationships or interracial relationships. Bigotry is still all around us. Also know that if you previously only dated real women, you will inevitably be hit with questions about your own sexuality. Um, if I'm dating a a real woman, I don't think she's going to be questioning my sexuality if I'm with her. I think she already knows what my sexuality is if I'm with her and I'm having sex with her. Just saying. If the relationship is worth it, you need to mentally prepare for these conversations with friends, colleagues, and family if you decide that you want to date a transgender individual. Yes. Mentally prepare. Because you're going to get the looks of, huh? Okay. I'd just be like, you're gay. Move on. Move on with your life. I don't care. I don't care what you decide to do in the bedroom. I don't care who you decide to date. Just don't force it on me at all. And don't make me have to respect it. Don't make me have to, like, embrace it. Number four, educate yourself about queer and trans culture. Yes, that's exactly what you should do because that's exactly what they want you to do. Get educated, man. It's queer and trans culture. While I'm sure most dolls are open to educating their partners about a lot of things, they aren't going to want to explain every single thing about an adult man. I, I'm Pretty sure if you're a man you're dating another man that identifies being a woman, I'm fairly certain that you would already know. But anyway, uh, you should know the basics. Stonewall, yes, but also Martha, Marsha, P. Johnson, ACT UP, Lucy Hicks, Anderson, and the latest laws affecting trans healthcare where you live. You should be a huge advocate if you're dating a transgender individual, man. Number five, understand that there, that there hasn't been much media representation of a relationship like yours. Some people, I don't know how this is even a rule, but anyway, some people have grown up watching Friends and thought, I want a relationship like Ross and Rachel. <laughs> That's not as much of an opinion in this case. Um, didn't Ross and Rachel break up? Yeah, just pointing that out. Anyway. Number six, don't hyper-focus on the person's transness, but also understand that this person is different from the real women you've dated. Very different because they're not actually a real woman. Biological dude. <laughs> very, very different. One's got a penis and the other one's got a vagina. <laughs> Just got to make that very clear. Reinforce the person's femininity because that's exactly what every single woman wants in a guy, to reinforce their woman's femininity. Don't assume that this person relates to male interest just because of... I guess you guys can read that because I don't want to read it because, as we know, 
sex is not assigned at birth. It is observed at birth. But you should also understand that this person has a different lived experience than real girls. This doesn't necessarily mean that this person doesn't want to talk about this person's life pre-transition. But it's something you should let this person bring up on this person's own terms. What about the total transparency and honesty within a relationship? Or have we forgotten about that? Like you're getting to know a particular person, but oh, apparently it's too traumatic to talk about pre-transition. But post-transition, I'm more than happy to because I feel a lot more freer in, in who I am as a person and life and everything is all grand and fantastic. But pre that, nah, stuff it because I don't want to even think about the person that I was before. Um, spoiler alert, you're still that person. You're just choosing to identify as something else. Number seven, know that there are different ways to pleasure a trans woman. Guys, get off Pornhub. Don't watch that. It's no good. Read this article instead. This article knows exactly what this article is talking about especially when it comes down to pleasing a real man that is identified as being a woman. This is going to be fun, isn't it? First and foremost, it's important to know before being intimate whether this person is a top, bottom, or versatile. Yes, that is clearly what you should know before going into this. You should know anything else, just know that. A top is the one giving. Obviously... <laughs> A bottom receives and someone who is versatile is open to switching or doing both. Ex Mate, you're just having gay sex. It's man on man. That's what it is. But don't make assumptions, people. Don't do that. A doll can present highly femme and be a total top. I love how a gay man is talking about gay sex but trying to make it as if it's the same as heterosexual sex, but it ain't. It's actually quite hilarious to me. The next thing you'll want to talk about is if this person is pre or post op. If this person even wants to have a vaginoplasty, if your person is pre op, the prostate, love how they put her prostate. I mean, I've never heard of an actual woman having a prostate, but will serve as this person's G-spot, just like you. How about that? You don't have to do much. <laughs> it's just like pleasuring yourself, people. <laughs> this person's got the exact same G-spot as you. <laughs> this means, ah, oh boy, oh, boy, anal simulation may be key to giving this person an oil. Mate, again, you're just explaining gay sex. <laughs> oh, boy. If this person is post-op, you need to ask this person if this person can be stimulated through, vag mate, hole penetration or oral. This is really the, uh, this is really the same as, no, it's not, mate. It's not. But anyway, you simply want to do what most pleases this person and communication is key. Well, I'm glad we got down to that part. Communication is definitely key. Number eight, deal with your own masculinity. Oh, boy. First word, transphobia is prevalent in our society. Really? Where? And a trans woman's safety is always something this person must consider. Frankly, you may encounter people who are rude or aggressive. As a trans woman, I can say... There is nothing more comforting than a man that can stand by your side with conviction. Okay, I stand corrected because this person just outed themselves as being a transgender woman. There you go. So no idea if this person is pre or post-op, but that doesn't really matter to me because it just means that they're still biologically a dude. Anyway, and I love the point before, number seven, talking about how to have anyway um 
this doesn't mean you should be ready to brawl, but you should be a man enough to stand up for your woman. Yes, guys, stand up for your man that is identifying as being a woman because that is sexy. On the other hand, it's also important to remember that just because this person happens to identify as being a woman does not mean this person lives their life according to specific gender norms. Maybe this person wants to keep facial hair. Maybe this person doesn't dress within the gender binary. Knowing the kind of person this person sees themselves as is paramount. That's why communication is key, people. Number nine, get to know this person's chosen family. Not the one that you actually have. It's the one that this person has chosen. Go remember that. Going home to meet the parents is an established rite of passage for relationships. So I'm glad we agree on something. Equally important, or in many cases more so, is meeting the person's chosen family. This is a common concept in, in the queer community. The chosen family. Not the person's real family, but the chosen family. The ones that actually have... Well, this person has decided, you know what? You've accepted me for who I am. My real family hasn't or may not. So you're my chosen family. Okay. And that's the rite of passage, um, which is different from actually going home and meeting the real parents. I'll have you know. But anyway, chosen families are the people who you know, you wholly affirm your gender identity. Like I said a moment ago, their approval is something you should want. Why? Someone please explain to me why. I would much rather have the person's real parents' approval because they're the one that gave birth to this person than have someone that, oh, you're affirming the madness. You're affirming the delusion. By all means, I accept you. I embrace you, and I'm going to bend over backwards for you. Anyway, number 10, understand that you're bound to make mistakes. That's going to happen, people. In all relationships, you're bound to learn someone's icks. Got to love that word. X far out. So don't be hard on yourself as you learn what to do and what not to do. But there is a baseline you want to get above. Remembering pronouns is very important and easy enough for starters. Well, it ain't easy for me because I refuse to do it. So there's that problem. <laughs> That's a big problem. So maybe I am making a great deal of mistakes. Who knows? But just don't care. Number 11, know that every trans woman's life is different. Just like everybody else's life is different, so too is a transgender woman's life. Some dolls have healthy and easy coming out stories. The only place these people have actually come out is their mother's you-know-what and happy memory, memories relating to their pre-transition life. Others don't. It's important for you to find out whether the level of comfort in discussing things like this, but you can't force it. As intimacy grows between you two, it will become easier for this person to on be honest and open up the person's life that led this person to know exactly who this person is. I swear this person's trying to be um, Jordan Peterson, but not getting very close at all. Anyway, number 12, finishing this up. Be ready for the fact that if you date for long enough, it is inevitable children will come up. I hate to break it to you, but you're not going to have kids unless you do surrogacy or adopt, which everyone knows my stance on those two things. I don't like surrogacy and I have a problem with gay people adopting, although Adoption is a far better alternative than surrogacy. Surrogacy is um, horrible. No matter where you fall when it comes to having kids, it's important to be informed on how it would be possible. Adoption is an option, of course, but many a doll has, under the advice of their endocrinologist, frozen sperm from, from the beginning of their medical transition and surrogacy is increasingly popular in the queer community, which is problematic. If you ask me, 
So there you have it, people. That is 12 rules that every single man needs to know in order to date a transgender individual, a trans woman. So what do you think, guys? Are you all up for it or not? Let me know in the comments below. Is this something that you actually agree with, you reinforce, or you're like, nah, I'll pass? Because I'll, I'll, I'll be very honest with you. Nah, I'm passing already. But thank you so much, GQ, and this particular person. I think this person's name is, what is it? Nikki. Nikki, thank you so much, Nikki, for your advice on the 12 rules, not for life, but for dating a transgender individual because I feel so much more, more knowledgeable now, especially on the other one of knowing how to please. That one was... Uh, very interesting to me. It's always amazing how these people try and try and create things that seemingly make sense to them, but ma don't make sense to other people. And they just try and make it similar. Anyway, enough from me. You guys take care. You be blessed. And I'll see you all in the next video.